Okay, now uh, we continue our discussion uh, with model split model. Uh, so we want to uh, split uh, the trips into a few various uh, mode of transport. For example, for this one, for the first uh, the first uh, split we can split between non-motorized and motorized uh, trip, and the second uh, split. Uh, between public and private and even in the private we can split into motorcycle and cars and public uh, uh, public transport we can divide into bus and rail base hmm? uh, for example this is walking uh, walking or or using by or using motorized uh, vehicle uh, we, ju we just look into this distance uh, let's say we ask uh, people if the distance for 100 meters are you willing to walk so 95% said we are willing to walk. If the distance 200 meters, only 85, 88% are willing to walk. If the distance 1,000 meters, only 4% uh, 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 is willing uh, to walk. Uh, so uh, this is what we call it stated preference survey. Uh, based based on the distance, uh, we ask the peoples how many of the how are you willing to walk. So this is the percentage of 300 meters. The percentage of uh, uh, willing to walk is only 77 percent. So if we plot this one, we can see like this. You know, uh, the shape is like S, uh, S shape, or we can when we can call it a logistic function. So in this case, uh, boarding or not boarding the bus, uh, the distance maybe less than one kilometer. So you can see a lot of people uh, are walking instead of uh, available bus service. So uh, the shape of that uh, plot, uh, we call it logistic function. So we can calibri calibrate this this uh, function by this mat mat mathematical manipulation. Uh, we call it logistic transformation. This is actually linear regression. Linear regression, uh, uh, ln one minus p divided by p. Uh, and this is actually the uh, the uh, uh, parameters, and this is the uh, gradient, and this is the uh, intercept. So these are actually probability, pitch probability of walking, eh? Prob probability or percentage of people who are, uh, who are willing to walk. Hmm? So when we analyze that data, we can see this one. This is the intercept, uh, uh, lon intercept, and this is the gradient. So the model something like this, prob probability of walking is uh, 1 divided by 1 plus 18.5567 uh, and uh, uh, exponent of the distance, this distance. So uh, that's the example of stated preference survey. So we can do the same thing for another, for other kind of uh, uh, choice. We state the uh, uh, situation, the scenario, and let the people decide what is their, uh, what is their, uh, their, uh, he or she, uh, hers, uh, uh, what is uh, her or her his uh, uh, preference. So that's why we call it stated preference survey, based on the uh, scenario uh, we give to them. Yeah. For example, uh, this is the data collected for. Uh, LRT service between Bang and Putrajaya. So the LRT is still not there. We just uh, ask the people if the LRT between Bang and Putrajaya, are you willing to to uh, use the uh, LRT? Uh, we ask for the bus user. If the bus fare 1.6 ringgit and LRT fare uh, 2.9 ringgit and the travel time is still the same, so only 12% people will, bus user will use the LRT. But if the uh, travel time reduction is 40% and then 49% will use the LRT. So the same thing is here. If the bus, oh sorry, if the bus fare, uh, LRT fare is, uh, we vary it, vary it, two ringgit to three, three, between two ringgit and three ringgit, three ringgit 50 cent. And the same uh, reduction in travel time, you can see uh, uh, the fluctuation of uh, willingness to to uh, shift uh, from bus service to LRT. So if we uh, uh, manipulate the data something like this, this is ln uh, 1 minus p divided by p uh, and we analyze using linear regression so we can get this one 
uh, the statistic is uh, very good so all the variable here is uh, significant so we can get uh, uh, this kind of uh, 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 solution yeah so if you look at this one uh, alpha become 1.45 and beta uh, 0 0.0 0 0.049 uh, uh, negative in in, uh, in the convention sign okay so uh, you see this one uh, cost and time is two uh, different parameters or two different dimension uh, usually of course like like volume and meters you cannot add up but so this one the same thing cost and time is you can add up so this one uh, to add this one this uh, alpha and beta actually the convention factor so if we divide beta alpha consider transformation factor to convert time into monetary value so in this case you can see this one the value of time you just divide uh, this one and this one you can get uh, 19 ringgit 65 uh, cent per hour that mean uh, people willing to spend money about 20 ringgit to save one hour uh, travel time Okay, we stop here a little bit, uh, after a few minutes, uh, before you continue a strip assignment. Uh, thank you very much.